Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we have three more English thoroughbred horses and I'm so excited to check them out and buy them today. So let's go ahead and go. So these are the last of the English thoroughbred. The previous set got released a few weeks ago and actually the horse from the app, it was the chestnut one, got released yesterday. So the last set of them are here at Moreland. And you can choose from a gray, a bay, and a seal brown, and you can get each of them for 850 star coins. And that's pretty much all I have to say, so let's go ahead and check them out. I'm already here at Marley's, and here are all of them except for the one in the app. I did not buy any the first time because I did not have enough money, but luckily I got a ton of star coins, and now I... I'm able to buy them. So I'm going to take a look at all of them, starting off with the gray all the way on the left. So this is the gray, and from what I can see, it looks so, so, so cute. It looks like a Hanoverian from the front because there's a Hanoverian color that's pretty similar to this, especially with the main style, but I do not have that Hanoverian, so it's not going to look too similar to it. But here it is, the coat looks absolutely amazing it is incredibly detailed um i knew this one was going to be a good one also it has a tiny white like sock or maybe not even quite a sock on its back hoof and its eyes are brown and it has such a lovely marking on its face so this is the first one it has just a simple black mane and tail it looks amazing and i would definitely buy this one another new one from today is the seal brown and this one looks almost black it is a really dark one but yeah that's pretty much it i don't like this one as much as the gray one i'm not sure if i'll be buying this one today it has a little bit like brighter or it has a little bit different eyes in this one. It, uh, they look a little bit lighter and brighter, but it's still really cute. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be buying it. The last from last one from today is the bay one. This one reminds me of the trackener, which I do not have the bay trackener. Um, it has really nice. It has a really nice bay coat. I would. I think I'd buy this one. And it has really nice details. You can see the muscles. And it has brown eyes similar to the first one I showed you, and it has two little white socks on its back feet. The remaining ones are the one from the first set, or the ones from the first set, and the chestnut one is right here. And that one looks so stunning, especially in that color, so it just looks so, so cool. I definitely would like the chestnut one. I'm going to decide which one I want. Like I said, I definitely want the gray. It's just so detailed. I'm not sure about this color. I would really like the bay. I actually prefer this color to the seal brown, so I don't think I'll buy more than three today just because I don't want to like spend all my money. But I think I'll maybe buy three today. I'm gonna decide which ones I'm gonna buy right now. So I think I finally made a decision. So from today's set, I'm gonna buy two out of the three of them because I think this color out of all of them is my least favorite. It just doesn't appeal to me, but if you like it, I'm not gonna make you change your mind about it. It's just not my type of color. I like other seal browns, but I, I don't know. I just think the shading could be, I, I don't know. I'm just, I prefer the other ones to that one. So I'm gonna buy, so I'm gonna buy the gray and the bay from today's set. And then later on, I'm gonna buy the chestnut and I'm gonna buy one out of the first set. I'll make a poll on my SSO Amino, so if you want to be a part of that, make sure to follow me on there and I will post it hopefully soon. I'm gonna buy the gray first. It just looks so nice, so I have no hesitation about this one, so I'm just gonna choose a name. So I think I've chosen a name for this one, so I think I'm gonna name it Wind Willow. I think this name suits it really nice. And I bought my first updated English thoroughbred. I'm so excited to check it out. Let me know down in the comments below which one you have, which one you're going to buy, which one's your favorite, or which one you're planning to buy. Oh, I'm just so excited, okay. 
like I said, I'm not going to buy this one. It's just not really my thing. Okay, let's go ahead and buy the bay. It looks so, so nice, and it just has so many details. Okay, for the bay, let's see what we're going to name it. So, it literally took me ages to come up with a name, but I got some help, and I finally have a name. So, I'm going to name it Brave Scout. So, let's go up and click on that name, and that's what I'm going to name this one. Brave Scout it is. I'm finally buying it. It literally took forever to come up with a name, but I found a good one. I really wanted to do one with Scout. I feel like we've been adding new names recently. Comment down below if you think so too. I also I saw some names I've never seen before. So I bought the gray one and the bay one. So I'm going to leave this one here. I, I don't know. I just... I don't see myself buying this. I'd rather buy one of these three, so I think I'm going to make a poll since I really don't care which one I buy. I just love all of them. I love the chestnut too. I'm 100% buying the chestnut, but I'd like to buy one from the first set just to say that I did. Let's go check them out in my stable. So those were all the gates and animation for the updated English thoroughbred in case you haven't got one yourself yes, yet because I haven't even seen them, well I've seen them from other people but I haven't seen them for myself until today. I almost forgot to check out the main styles and to show you as well if you're unsure about that as well. So I'm going to go back to Steve's and take a look at the main styles and I've like never changed a mane on a horse uh, maybe once and it was like a really old model so I'd, I'm just like not the type of person to change the mane style which most people do or on some horses they do but I'm gonna go to Steve just in case because I know this mane style isn't the most popular so there may be a better one over there okay so I'm gonna take a look at the mane style so first off we have this one which looks pretty cute we have the braids, which since I said I don't, I've never changed it on a horse, or not that I remember. It actually has a slight marking on its forehead. I can zoom in for you. Like, it's a tiny marking. I think I prefer this one to the braids. And then we have the longer ones, which are not my thing. So if I was gonna change it, I would change it to this, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to think about it. 
especially the forelock on this horse, it makes it look, I don't know, it's like really spiky, it's not like smooth, and plus it hides it more. Well, I know this hides it, and this, well, I guess they're kind of the same, but I feel like it looks spiky um, on this horse, and then I could look from the last angle. The tail is bigger. I mean, I'm just gonna keep the original one because I just like the original one. I'll look on the other one just in case, but I may just keep it on, on it because, I don't know. I feel like I'm weird for not changing my horse's main styles, but I just always like how they come. So I'm gonna take my gray one out again, and yeah. And I think I'll just keep the default main style on this one. I don't think it looks too bad, actually. This horse, I can't get over how pretty it is. I just love it so much. I just have one more thing to say, except for the teaser, and it is very exciting. It's about something going on in the riding hall. It's actually a new feature. So it's like a mini hide all players option, except it only works in the riding hall. So if you have a club or you're with your friends, you could hide. You could choose what players to hide. So when you're entering the riding hall, you will see a new button next to the horseshoe menu on the lower right corner of your screen. And by clicking it, you may choose to see only members of your club, only your group members, or everyone. And the setting will reset every time you leave the riding hall. And a lot of people have requested it, which... Yes, that is true. I mean, I know a lot of people would like the hide all players or hide friends. I mean, not hide friends, but, you know, hide all players, whatever. A lot of people have wanted it, and actually, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago, there was actually that feature in the writing hall, but then it got removed maybe a couple hours later, so it is there, and we're going to take a look at it, and I'll show you exactly how it works. Okay, so as you can see, there's a really big button right here by the map and the whole menu. So you can click on it, and you can, since I'm not in a group, well right now it's showing everybody so I can't select that. I'm not in a group so I can't select it, so this button will only show riding members. So as you can see, there's a group right here, and they're not there anymore. If my riding club was here, I would see them. And now let's select to see everybody again. And there they appear. So this will be super helpful, especially if you're doing dressage. It's like you have your own riding club. And so many people have asked for this. So I'm sure so many people will be happy to see it. I think a lot of people will be happy with this new feature. I know it will be super useful. It's only in the riding hall, so if you go to York Staples or any other arena, it won't be there, but you know, this is like the biggest and most popular. So I hope this helps you and your club, or if you're in a group, I hope it will help you out. There's one more thing I have to mention about today's update, and that is a teaser for next week. So coming next week, Star Stable says it's soon time for the Yorvik Stables open house. And yes, the highly requested event horses will be back. So next week is the open house, and it doesn't come back for about a year. If the open house was here in May or after May, then I will have a video, but it might have been here before. I'm not sure. I'll look if I have a video, and if I have a video, I'll link it in the upper right corner because I did buy the Lusitanas from there. There is also the, the Lippies, but I'm not a fan of the Lippies, so it looks like these special horses will be back. I'm not sure if any other horses will be there or not, but we'll just have to see. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already, and turn on notifications so you know every single time I make a new video because I'm planning on buying a couple more English thoroughbreds. So if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!